welcome to Loving's Guitar, where I like to talk about the strings at home. This, ah, this is not a uh, bass or a guitar, but it is both. It's the Fender Squire Six. Uh huh. The Six. deserves its own time, you know, representation here on Loving's Guitar. Because, you know, I'm not a bass player. I can't say I've ever really, well, I have played bass on recordings, and I have been a, well, a stand-in bass player a few times, but I wouldn't consider myself ever to be a bass player because I, well, I can, I'm a person who can play bass, but I'm not a bass player, okay? I'm not a bassist. I'm just a person who can play bass. That's about it. That's about it. Um, but that doesn't mean I can play bass like Jocko or Charles Mingus or anything like that. I understand that and respect that. I understand what they're what they're doing and why they're doing it. And and even if I don't understand it, I kind of respect it anyway. <laughs> so uh, that being said. For the guitar player, think about this. Wrap your head around this, boys and girls, and those in between. Is that if you're not a bass player, okay, you're a guitar player, you know, but you know picking up a big, long scale and with big old thick strings and a big old neck is going to scare you. And it does kind of do a little psychological twist on you. You know, it's like going from, you know, a mini bike, from mini bikes to monster trucks. You know, that's what guitar is to like a bass. Bass is like monster truck, you know. And, and, and what, what, what are guitar players? They're playing. When you, when, when you put on a bass guitar from after playing uh, guitar, <laughs> it feels like you're playing a freaking tree, you know. And then when you go back to playing a guitar from playing bass, it feels like you're playing a ukulele. <laughs> no offense to the ukulele people. <laughs> but I'm just saying. But what I am saying is this, folks. Especially you guitar players out there, all right? I know who I'm talking to. I know my market. Or at least uh, I don't really have a market, unfortunately. But they are, it's a, it's a dwindling market. It's, it's the senior citizen crowd. It's those village people in the Florida places. The, what's the, 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 uh, the, vil the, the villages, right? <laughs> I'm not there yet. I don't know if I'm going to go there. <laughs> I don't know if they like people in red shirts. I, really, I don't know. Maybe they do. And sometimes I wear a wig, you know. 
Uh, yes, but, well, I used to. I, I used to do a lot of things, you know? I used to have sideways reverse mohawks. I used to do a lot of things. Now I'm just... I'm those things too, but but I'm I'm, I'm older now. See, so oh, but well, let's go back to the Squire Six. I'm getting off topic. All right, back to this. I mean, my Squire it says six. It even has you know like that kind of a yeah, well a Fender esque neck. And you know what, folks? What a nice neck this is, really. This type of neck for a guitar player. Who wants to get a little bass, bassier with their tones or whatever? Um, this is an easy transition. Like you can get off any guitar, jump on this, and sure, it has six strings, but the six strings are thicker, like a bass. <laughs> and but I, I think they are. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a shorter scale, definitely a shorter scale. And um, and the neck is kind of, uh, the fretboard is more like jazz uh, bass, more that, as opposed to a like precision bass, you know, so it's not as wide. And it's, <laughs> the, the neck profile, God, this is really sweet, but I'm going to say it's a, it is a, it is, it is a C, a more modern C. And, oh, wait. No, I, actually, I, no way, I, I see a difference here. There's a transition. It transitions from like, a, like, wait, is that right? Yeah, a C. I say I was gonna say a CV, like a combination of a C and a V, but no, there's no. It's it's, it's a really nice C right over here. By the time we get over here, though, it's almost, it's almost D. It's interesting. I, I'm gonna say, or at least maybe it's it's like between C and a D. I would say even closer to D. But definitely over here, it starts out as like a real prominent C, almost V. How about that? So it's kind of CV over here, and this is kind of like C, uh, what's that, flat? <laughs> C, v, oh, D, C, D. This is kind of CV, <laughs> and this is kind of C, D. Does that make any sense? I'm, you know what? It doesn't make a difference. Does it? I don't know. Why do people come to the show? To know the neck profiles? No. They, they don't come here to see neck, understand neck profiles through me. No, they want to see that like it's, it's like slowly watching the Titanic approach an iceberg ready to just sink into the ocean. That's what you're watching. I know. At least that's what the data is telling me. <laughs> Anyway, folks, so, oh, yeah, back to the six. All right, so, now, I've had this for a while, and uh, I never had one. Well, no, wait a minute. I played them prior to actually having one. Now, I've had this for a little over a year, and, uh, and wow, what a in great inclusion into, you know, my sound and my, my world of chaos and music and just having this like you know next to my recording or here or in the other room because this travels everywhere with me now um and it's not like i'm, I'm i i would never say i'm a a, a six player a, a squire six player although i have one obviously <laughs> because i'm sure there's people who can play this thing much better than me but i approach this um not as a guitar player because I have yet to figure that out, like how to make that neurological connection. So I pretend to be a bass player through this six-stringed instrument, but it's laid out like a guitar. So although the scale is different, and that's where I'm going to screw up, that's how I usually screw up the most, is that when I, when I just relax and I think like a guitar player, that's when everything messes up. Like the, my spacing of my fingers is different because this is not a guitar. This is, and this is not even a bass, but it is very close to, a, I think, a regular, well, you know what? You know, I, I, no, <laughs> maybe, I'm, maybe I'm completely wrong about this. Hold on. Let me check. Stepping off set, just a second. If the set doesn't fall off. Okay, so it's a, look at this. 
me see, let me see. I'm at the distance here, string distance. Right. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, well, okay, this is a little bit longer. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit longer. But this is definitely a whole lot wider. You know, um, this is my Harley Benton uh, Deluxe Series. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it was like um, like the M something. Kind of like the, supposed to be like the, mu like you know, kind of like a, you know what it looks like. I don't want to say it. Do I have to say it? It's like kind of like a Music Man copy. Is that right? I think, like a copy of one, see? So, uh, and, but you know what, it works. I played, I, I, I've done a few recordings with this and I like this. It's very, uh, it reminds me I'm playing a bass. And so when I play this, I'm, I go totally into bass mode. Uh, I can't slip out of it because uh, it, it's so obvious. It's, it's a bigger neck, fatter neck. It's, I mean, all the way up here, it reminds me I'm playing a bass. And by the time I'm up here, it's the same thing. I'm still, I'm with a little higher action because I think I got to set this, I got to adjust this better. But I do like this bass. I have a lot of fun with this. But the bass six is a whole other different trip here, man. What I'm saying is that, is that the, oh, this is also so much lighter. Yeah, the neck is so much smaller. So it's kind of, it gives you that jazz bass sort of vibe. A smaller neck than that. Very nice neck. And despite it being glossy, because I prefer, you know, just natural necks, you know, just no gloss on them. This is not a, this is, I wouldn't consider this a sticky neck. Some glossy finishes for some reason it's a sticky, sticky situation no matter what. Sticky week one, year one, tenth year into it, you know, it's all, it's, it'll be sticky forever. And then there's some guitars that uh, they were never sticky even on day one, you know, year two, tenth year later. And this, despite it being glossy, this is not a sticky neck for some reason. I, it feels very comfortable. And plus, this particular Squire 6, the way I received it was in outstanding condition. I got it from uh, Chicago Music Exchange. Um, not a single fret sprouting. Um, I didn't do anything to this guitar. I haven't adjusted anything. I don't believe I even... I, I think... Uh, have I even checked the intonation? I don't know. Because the intonation seems to be on. Everything seems to be on and on here. Um, I think I might, I might have done it. I, along, I, I forget sometimes, folks. I'm a, I told you I'm AARP. I'm a senior. I'm close to that. I'm, I'm about. I'm, I'm so. The, the golden lights are opening up for me. All right. So, but soon I'm going to be meeting Fred Sanford. Is he up there yet? Okay. All right. Oh, oh so back to the, back to Back to the Squire Six. What I have found so interesting for me is that it has broadened me way more than I was expecting to go. Now I seem to be a Squire Six player.
we should all make more noise, don't you think? You know? And this, this is just another octave lower. How about that? Boys, girls, get yourself a Squire Six for no reason other than to just make more noise. Another octave lower. All right? Okay, that's enough. I, I, said, I said what I need to say. I got it.